yourself as somebody who is friendly with the American audience. I believe you are backed by people that want people to be more comfortable with robot dogs. I believe that. I believe you're pushed to be the happy face of AI. You Which know? is why I will edit this the part face. out. <laughs> no editing. Joe Rogan's rule, no editing. <laughs> this is live. Yeah. But then you look at this guy, you're like, oh, I guess anyone can succeed. <laughs> Literally anyone. I mean, he looks like a Make-A-Wish kid who didn't die and just grew out the hair. And his eyes are crazy. Oh, he's Wait, crazy. You know, most yeah. successful. What up, King of the Stink? It's your boy Daniel, and I just want to say what's up to Theo, Brendan, Chappelle, Cat, Nick, Chin, the dude that sits in the other studio but never looks up at the camera like it's the hot chick from junior high school that I never even had the balls to smile at. It's not a call. Oh, yeah, the culture yeah. corner. Well, my dad was born in Mexico. My grandma barely spoke English. I barely speak Spanish, but somehow we make it work. If that's not the definition of culture, I don't know what is. I can already see myself in the culture corner. If you guys choose me to sit on the same couch that has grazed more butt cheeks than George Bush Sr., I'd be delighted. All I got to say is gang gang, vatos locos forever. Oh, vatos locos. Pepe. He's good with editing. <clears throat> yeah, that guy was great. PL. Yeah, he's really good with Shout editing. Shout out to that Dustin Poirier episode. episode. He's really good, TTW, but it's right? boring. <laughs> Very boring. Like, I wanted to like him. It's mind-numbingly boring, and I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wait for it to end. So if he, if he went to a Hollywood meeting, they'd go like this. They'd go, hey, thanks for coming in. Let us know what you're working on. Fuck out, because that was boring and a waste of everybody's goddamn time. <laughs> Bring back that meth head fucking Tonto or whatever, because uh, this guy sucks. <laughs> I like the I like the first guy, that fucking drippy oh. Steve Jobs with the mock turtleneck. Yeah. Anyone who's better than this dude. This guy's like, <laughs> I'll edit my way around my zero personality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Uh, I like this um, Gary Varnachuk hitman right here, mm -hmm. and then yeah. I also like uh, obviously the guy that fucking makes our blood in a cauldron, <laughs> our little uh, our little native fella right there. Little that Tonto Roanoke right victim. there. Yeah, the guy has a drug problem, brother. Yeah, he does, dude. <laughs> so what, dude? You look like the kind of guy who crop dust in a room and then moon walks back through it, dude. <laughs> <laughs> this is a guy that's like. Really on something cool too. It's like opium. It's like peyote. Like he's on something good. It's yeah. like some mythical. Yeah. Like he's just yeah. This guy like, will pull a wolf just, out from behind your ear, dude. This he, guy ain't fucking playing. He's on that yeah. tomahawk DMT. Dude, he thinks Theo and Brendan are two dragons to talk to him. Like he has never <laughs> seen you. He has no idea what your physical form is. He just thinks you're two dragons from another dimension that speak to him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Buzz. Gang, gang, baby. Thank you, Brian, for the submission. And this is obviously a cry for help. <laughs> <clears throat> What's great is not only the monster tattoo, but the, the ass that you learn how to make when you're in fourth grade. <laughs> you see that, like, ass that you draw on marble notebooks in the back of chemistry class? Yeah, man. Like that on ass. On a trapper keeper? Yeah, whatever. Right, on a trapper yeah. keeper. Like, I don't even know. I don't know what the, what the rationale behind the ass is, but... Also, how much monster do you have to drink to put a corporate sponsor? Do you think that's a real tattoo, head? or do you think that's like a thing with marker? Ah, man, oh, can we zoom in on that, Nick? And it's red as shit. Looks yeah, pretty, it's probably a tat. Pretty official. I feel like that's a but real mistake. Red that's a little a tat. Yeah, he's, he's all red around it. It looks, uh, looks real. Have you guys heard that uh, monster is like a satanic drink? These are supposed to be like the three dashes are like the six letter. They mean like six in Hebrew or something. Of course it does, Nick. <laughs> and it's supposed to be the mark of the beast. shocked by this? <laughs> Dude, how sad would it be if Satan came back to Earth? He's like, all right, so who's, how are we uh, keeping my name alive? They're like, uh, well, there's a few aspiring DJs drinking a drink that has to do with you. He's like, what? He's like, so well, what have we been doing? They're like, we got an, a shitty energy drink yeah. that, uh, you know, is sponsoring, uh, you know, Regional professional motocross. skateboarders. Professor Skateboarders and me? Yeah. I was sponsored by Monster for, I don't know, four years. Well, the Satan would be very disappointed in that, by the way. <laughs> Satan's like, who are we working with? Maniscalco? We got uh, CK? They're like, nah, we're supporting. We got Brendan Schaub. Satan's like, what? Satan's like, I don't get it. You know? Budget cuts, Bubba. Yeah. 
Satan's like, all right, whatever, man. Oh, the official drink of PTSD right there. <laughs> <laughs> that. That's that PTSD smoothie. Everybody that has PTSD drinks Monster, bro. Yeah, there's definitely a correlation there. Those are Oakley's Monster Energy right is the there. official drink of a guy smoking a Parliament light outside of a rehab, looking at someone else and going, "Listen, man, it's gonna be different this time." <laughs> <laughs> that is exactly the official drink. Like I'm focused. I have focus. It's a it's a skinny white kid using the word focus <laughs> a million who's times. still got the taste of that chalky cocaine in his throat, and he's like, "I'm yeah. focused, bro. I just gotta yeah. fucking stick with it this time." You got yeah, this, bro. bro. You got Monster, this, bro. bro. <laughs> Monster is basically fucktard syrup. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, motherfucking Tim. Yeah, I'm just a kid in a candy store. Me Thank too. you. Thank you for making this dream come true. <laughs> this is what I've always wanted to do, and we've made it happen. This is my make a wish. I can die happy. Well, I'm happy you're here. Yeah, I got my Freegis Lane shirt because I believe all women. Is that how you say it? it ding, ding, ghost, ghost, ghost. Go on. You guys go first. I, I will say in terms of just creepy oh, things at the comedy right store, away. I felt like a weird, like a banshee. You know what a banshee is? Yeah. It's like an Irish. Like no, you I don't, felt like Brandon. a weird, like feminine energy that was very like chaotic and and bad and dark and evil. Uh, That's coming Whitney. Down that was the stairs Whitney. one day, <laughs> and it was it was Whitney Cummings. <laughs> <laughs> so that. <laughs> <laughs> so you gotta be very careful. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, from Airbnb. I was banned from Airbnb. I went to an Airbnb in the desert. Uh, two uh, lesbians had, uh, uh, you know, f uh, put together an Airbnb with uh, furniture that no one could sit on, right? Like art pieces. Mm -hmm. But sure. like, I had fat people with me, so they couldn't sit in the chairs or anything. We all had to just stand out there in the middle of the desert. It was really embarrassing. And uh, we left some dishes in the sink. That's all we did. Didn't break anything. I mean, look at this. Look at that. That's what you had to sit on. Every piece of furniture, like, sodomized you as you sat on. <laughs> like, that's how fucked up it was. Look at that. That's a chair. It's ridiculous. So then these lesbians, uh, I, I threatened to kill them. I texted them. I said I was going to burn down your house. I, they said, are you threatening me? I said, let's just see what happens. Uh, I then texted them. I said, let the games begin, ladies. You have no idea who you're fucking with. Then uh, Airbnb kicked me off. Now, did they file a formal complaint, or did Airbnb follow the story? You think I Airbnb imagine, followed the story? I imagine these, because I spoke about it on my podcast. I said I wanted to gas them, lock them in their house, <laughs> gas them, and watch them, like, like paw at the windows like cats. Very much like the Patriot. Have you seen that scene in the Patriot? Yes, that's yes. what I want. Thank you. Yeah, so that's where we're at with that. I am removed from Airbnb, but uh, I will set up my producer. We'll just set it up under his account, and I'll use VRBO. I don't give a shit, and wow. uh, you know so I just switching. I would, you know those ladies, you know watch your back, <laughs> watch your back. Have have the fans been harassing them? Do we know their profiles and shit? Probably. I don't know what my fans. I don't know what people do. I don't know if they're sending messages. No, they had to go private on Instagram, and they had to <laughs> and they had to uh, you know turn off comments on the page because wow. they trashed me on a public forum, which is Airbnb. Mm -hmm. And I am just using my opportunity as a citizen of this country, your voice, to speak freely against these two lesbians who are not designers, not artists, not interesting. No. Uh, they are uh, goofy bitches. And, yeah. you know, we're, in a, we're locked in a war. And fuck Airbnb, too. And fuck Airbnb. They're not letting the terrorists stay in the Airbnbs that want to do the Civil War for the inauguration. Yeah. It's fucked up. They want to pay the terrorists, want to pay the money.